Hello, it has been quite some time. The holidays just get really crazy for me and one of the things that I had to let go of was YouTube for a little bit, but I am back and I'm really excited to share this. I actually filmed it at the beginning of November. I started on November 11th and I ended right before Thanksgiving. So it's been a couple months. I just started getting this internal itch to redo my kitchen and I find that I have to kind of roll with the inspiration when it comes and so far it turned out really great. I've done a few really awesome things. I will go through the plan, the grand plan that I had in a second. If you want to skip ahead to see the concrete counters and not see my whole grand plan, then you can go to this time and you will see it there. So without further ado, I will let you watch the video. Please enjoy. I just want to be cozy. I feel like I'm nesting. Like it just got cold outside today and I want to be cozy and I want to enjoy my kitchen and I want to love it. And there are parts that I really, really love about it, but I think that there are some parts that kind of bother me and that I want to change. So my dad is here and I'm really excited because a few of those things are things I don't feel confident doing myself. My dad is like Mr. MacGyver, amazing handyman person. And he's like my go-to helper. So I guess I need to discuss all of my plans with him and see if he approves, I guess. Anyway, so I wanted to share with you my plans. I don't know what's gonna happen this weekend. I'm excited regardless, and I hope it turns out really cozy and cute and the way that I want it. All right, we're not gonna pay attention to my recycling pile right there. I love this section of my kitchen. I also love this section of my kitchen. This was a cabinet I bought and put in to this awkward space. It could use some organizing, but there was this empty space next to my fridge and so I bought this and it fits perfectly. I'm kind of thinking about doing something here like curtains or something, it just looks a little weird. That's my door. This section I love. I just, I dry like herbs and flowers here and I kind of would like to figure out a different solution for that. I have these different little basket trays and then this little screen thing that I got from Goodwill. There's still Goodwill stickers on it, that's funny. And then my herb drying string. It's a herb, whatever, herb drying section there. Don't mind my compost. The island has this plastic on it because it is this beautiful wood that my dad's had in his garage for like 20 plus years and this island, it's a mess up there. This island I built whenever I first moved in. So all of these cabinets are from Ikea and then I had to build the tabletop and I love it but I don't know how to finish it and I tried to finish it one time with a mixture of oil and wax. I hated it and I panicked. It was like the middle of the night I panicked and I sanded it all down and I've <laughs> been so afraid to mess with it since then. That was probably about a year ago. Yeah so it's just it has this plastic on it and that keeps it from getting messed up and I think I found the stain that I want to stain it with but I am teetering between if I should seal it with a wax like a furniture wax or a I don't know like a clear sealer we actually would went to a wood store and they suggested this clear sealer stuff so I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet anyways that's something that needs to happen but honestly I'm kind of working on this with my mother because she used to be a faux painter and I am just trusting her with it I'm kind of afraid to do it myself so that's kind of a project I have to do with my mother this is a messy area but but this is the rest of my kitchen. My idea is for this weekend, I would like to take this cabinet and this cabinet down and create open shelving. I also kind of want to do something with this window, maybe curtains, some kind of situation there. I wanted to get a new sink that is probably gonna wait. I'm looking for a white sink potentially and then a different faucet. I've been trying out these contact papers on my countertops, but I don't love them. There's that one that's also there and then this one except this one is too white and doesn't match my cabinets I didn't realize my cabinets were like an off-white until I put that there what I want to do with the countertop is cover it in concrete and I had concrete previously in a tiny home that I built years and years ago and I loved the look of it I still love the look of it that's a whole project that's probably gonna take a weekend I would like to do that when my child is away so they don't get messed up before I seal them another thing but this is probably way farther down the line I'm thinking about painting my cabinets and even potentially the floor 
although I don't mind the floor. Um, another thing that really bothers me are these lights. They're too yellow. I don't like lights that are too yellow. Above my island, the lighting is in here is so poor. Like there's a light there, but then there's all this space with no lighting and there's a light there and that one which has a weird switch over there and I never turn that on. But these are left over from a New Year's party I had like two New Year's ago uh, when I first moved in in 2020 and I just kind of left them. But I would like to put lighting here. Another far off project is I would like to put beams up here, but that is way farther down the line. So things that I really, really want to get done are the cabinets and then after that, the counter. See what happens. As you can see, I've done some experimenting. I have tried to use contact paper. It's supposed to look like concrete and I don't like the way it looks. I've tried this one right here, which is supposed to look like white speckled, I don't know, some kind of white speckled countertop. I don't like the way that looks. I don't like the countertops and today's the day I'm gonna change that. So I actually made a video previous to this with all of the things that I wanna do to my kitchen. <sighs> my dad came into town, shot down a lot of them, mostly just the open shelving aspect of them. So so I'm rethinking that the open shelving I wanted to do was these cabinets right here on either side of my sink. I'm kind of rethinking ways I can make that space feel more open. I'm considering like cabinet doors with glass inside of them or just not. I don't know. I don't know about that yet, but I do know that I'm doing the countertops and I wanted to get another sink. However, I can't decide what direction I want to go. I wanted to get like a white farmhouse sink, but I'm having second thoughts about that as far as keeping it clean clean and not stained, so I'm not completely sold on that. I'm also considering a black sink, but I'm, I don't want to suck this light out of this space because I'm also considering doing black cabinets. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start with the countertops first, see how that feels. And I guess the first step is I have to clean all of this, take off the contact paper, and prep my kitchen. I'm gonna try to like block it off with jaw cloths so I don't get dust everywhere, but I need to get started because it's almost one o'clock and I feel like my day is running out. I guess I have today and tomorrow, but all right, so I'm gonna get to clean. Glad I didn't put that everywhere. Holy cow, it was like the smallest section. It took me like 10 minutes just to get it all up. The next step is to clean the counters really well. So I've actually, I've had concrete counters before. Whenever I was 21, I built a tiny home. And for the counters, I did plywood with this feather cement on top. And there was one huge mistake I made when I did those counters. The base was plywood and um, I make organic bath and body products. So there was like an oil spot on one section of it. When I put the cement concrete on top, the oil soaked into the concrete and then whenever I sealed it, it also affected the seal and it was always tacky in that one spot and there was a big dark circle. This time, I mean obviously this is not plywood and hopefully there's not oil soaked into any part of this granite, but I'm going to clean it really, really well. Part of the contact paper left some sticky stuff over here, some sticky residue, so I'm going to clean that up with probably goo off, goo off, goo beyond, whatever it's called, so that's what's gonna happen. I lightly sprayed them all and wiped them down. I'm gonna use dish soap and a green Brillo pad and scrub the heck out of them and probably let it sit and scrub them again and then wipe it all off. I've scrubbed. I'm going to make my tea really quick and let them sit for probably like five minutes and then scrub them again and wipe them all down really good.
I'm trying to enclose this space. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's completely enclosed. I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to show all this. I didn't really know I was gonna do all this. It took about 30 extra minutes, but I feel like it's gonna save me at the end all the cleanup because I know it's gonna get dusty. So I just have to finish cleaning and then we're gonna get to mixing. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I have it all taped up. So this is what I'm using. I got this Henry 549 feather finish from Home Depot. It is, it was only $20. I also got this trowel to help apply it. And then I'm using this metal tin that I already have. So I've only spent $30 so far. I do have to get sealant. The one that I want I think is at Lowe's. So I'm probably gonna go get that later in the day. That will probably be the expensive part because I want to invest a lot of money in that so that it lasts. But yeah, I'm gonna start mixing this up. Kind of winging it at this point. I'm like nervous excited, nervous excited in both. I hope this is, I hope this turns out okay. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, I'm pivoting a little bit. I'm using this and a paint stick to mix it up and then I have this plastic one fourth a cup measuring cup. I don't know exactly how much I'm supposed to put in here. I'm gonna start with a small amount first. I'm starting with three quarters of a cup. And I'm gonna add one quarter of a cup. Let's see what happens. That is not enough. I'm adding another quarter. So that equals one cup. This thing is very flimsy. Probably not the best choice. Okay. It is thickening pretty well. I feel like it needs a little bit more water then. I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna start in this little tiny section over here because I am afraid. It says it hardens within 15 minutes, so I feel like a very limited amount of time to do this. All right, so I'm going to use this to put some on my trowel. I don't even remember the last time I used a trowel, so this is going to be a learning curve. I'm going to start probably in this corner. to use this for the corner. Okay, that works pretty well. I can also use this for that. I think I need it over right here. I need to get this back edge. Okay, not looking too bad. Let me see if I can move y'all over here. It turned out pretty good. This is what it looks like so far. First section done! I kind of love it, but I don't want to speak too soon. Now I just have to do all of this and all that. Before I forget, I'm gonna clean up the edges over here with a wet paper towel. I've heard it's easy. We'll see if that's true. with the first coat. I did the best that I could. 
It's starting to dry in some areas. I think it might take a few hours to dry, so. This is what it looks like. It's pretty dark right now, but you can tell like back there, it's probably gonna end up drying that color. I feel like I did pretty good. It was hard. It's really hard not to put it on with all these lines. This rounded edge is pretty difficult. And then this is what this area looks like. Um, this part in the back was pretty hard. I just used the small thing, tool that I was using. So yeah, that's what it looks like now. I'm hoping it'll only take one more coat because I'm running low on cement and I really don't wanna have to buy another box, but we'll see. After it dries, I'm going to sand it all down and see what it looks like. It is six o'clock, it's been a few hours. I went to Lowe's, I got this Clear Seal Seal Crete Concrete Protective Sealer in satin. I also got these little foam rollers because I wasn't quite sure that I had some. These were $10, this was $50, so, so far I've spent $100, which is not bad for redoing my entire countertops. I also got a bunch of paint colors. I didn't know that Lowe's carried Sherwin-Williams paint. I got to get a few, or a <laughs> I got to get a bunch of paint samples of colors that I've been looking at forever. So that's cool. I'm thinking I kind of want to paint my bottom cabinets black. That might be a crazy idea. I also got the color alabaster because I see it everywhere and I really love it in people's homes. It is, oh God, this white color. Went in looking for this specifically when I saw the section, but I actually kind of like this color. It's called Black Magic better. They're pretty similar, but I think Black Magic has a little bit of smokiness to it, which I like better. And then I really want to do like a creamy, I don't know if you can tell in the camera. So this is white, this is creamy. I kind of want to do a creamy color for my top cabinets. Anyways, I will probably tape these up to my cabinets when they're not covered in this plastic. I haven't even looked at my cab or er, my countertops in a few hours, maybe like two hours. So let's go see what they look like. I'm excited. Oh my god. Here we go. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, they're very wet still. Wow. Okay. Definitely very, very wet. So it's, it's been really rainy here, which might be why. I also did kind of like, kind of a thick layer for the first one. So this might end up having to dry overnight, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping to get these done, but that's okay. I'm not gonna mess them up. I'm gonna leave them like this for now and just wait for them to dry. So it's the next day. It took all night to dry. It's looking really good. I had to wake up and go to work. I was working at this cute little shop way up north. I actually made a video of that, which I will have to post, but it is, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.37 p.m. Okay, so I have probably an hour of free time. I'm gonna try to sand it all and then put on another coat. The cloth drop fell. I am not sure exactly how because the dog was out and I'm not sure if the dog bumped it and it came down or if it just came down by itself but there's a bunch of thumbtacks in here I'm gonna thumbtack it to the ceiling just so it gives it some extra hold I'm gonna try to seal it all in and then I am going to sand it all down so yeah I'm gonna get to do that now I will show you what it looks like dry so this is what it looks like dry I really want to cover this part because I don't like how it's kind of going against the grain of everything else. There's also some parts where I need to fill in. And then I need to work on shaping this part a lot. This side actually looks really good. So yeah, gonna sand and apply another coat and hopefully that'll be it.
Nezuko. Nezuko. So this is what it looks like sanded. And I'm about to do a second coat. It's next day. I put on a second coat yesterday. I think it looks really good. I must say I don't like the way it looked after I sanded it. So my goal with the second coat is to hide the lines, the dark spots, and make it kind of uniform looking. It's looking a lot better. I'm kind of afraid to sand it because I don't want it to look dark and splotchy like it did. So I think I'm just gonna do like a really fine sanding and see what happens. Uh, I still have to finish like the rounded edge that part is still pretty rough and I put on this long long sleeve t-shirt to protect my skin from getting dust all over it because that was a gross feeling yesterday I might put on gloves as well we'll see but I'm pretty ready for this to be over I'm ready to use my kitchen again so hopefully after sanding it this time it'll be the last of that and I can get started sealing I still need to like clean up the the edges where the tile meets the concrete it's pretty messy but I think that'll be a pretty quick cleanup and then what I plan to do after I seal it is get a gray caulk and do that along the edges of the tile as well as the edge around the sink to prevent water from seeping in on the edges and also to make it look like a really clean finished line. I still have to go get that at some point. That probably won't happen today and tomorrow I go out of town for Thanksgiving so I don't know if that'll happen tomorrow or when I get back from Thanksgiving. I haven't filmed this part. I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what I'm using to sand. I'm using a small handheld orbital sander that I have. So I've been using a 220 grit sandpaper and and then just like a little strip of sandpaper that I'm doing by hand. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I feel like I should do this in the small part right here. This fit right there. Oh gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna start with the edges. Here's what it looks like so far. I dripped a few marks there and then I covered it with sealant again, so hopefully that won't be permanent, but that's what it looks like wet. It's kind of got a weird sheen on it right now, but yeah. This side's starting to dry and look more normal. The dots are going away. Over here, it's still drying and over here it's still drying it looks pretty streaky when you put this stuff on um but i'm choosing to trust the process I'm trusting the process all right the first coat has dried the first coat of the sealant has dried I actually redid a couple of parts Move this i redid this part back here because i did not like the way that it looked and then I also redid this part and I'm not sure <laughs> if it made it better or not, but. And then I started putting a second coat of the sealer on this one. This is what it looks like wet. Counters are sealed and I've put everything back together. I haven't cleaned the oven, so I'm not gonna look at that. But here is the other side. This is what the caulk looks like. I actually didn't put that color caulk on here because I didn't like the way it looked. Over here it kind of blends in with the white. But here I went with a clear caulk that I just happen to have in my garage. I have a 
concoctions. And then I've kept this out. This is the foam brush that I used to apply the sealer. There was one spot right here where this little dot is. It's like a little tiny hole. That was one spot where the water was getting through and after the first time I did dishes I noticed it and then I let it dry. It was like a dark circle and then I let it dry and I coated it with sealer and it's been fine ever since. So hopefully that'll be it and I haven't had any other spots show up like that. That's how it looks. I love it. I just need to change these lights, I think. I don't like the how yellow they are. They make everything look so yellow. It's gross to me, at least. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And I think that in about six months, I'll probably do a review on the counters. It's been two or three already, between two and three months, and they've held that pretty well. There have been some little dings here and there, and I plan on fixing that, and I will show you how to fix that. If it works out, hopefully it works out. So stay tuned for a six months update in a couple months to see how my concrete counters held up. And thank Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a beautiful day.